Salman Assar, my lord. May I speak? Go ahead, Bogmir. I'll listen. For some time now, the capture of slaves beyond our territory has become increasingly difficult. Do you mean they're being protected by foreign armies? No, my lord. The few soldiers who survived our last expedition report that it was not a foreign army that intervened, but one single man who broke up the raid. One single man? <laughs> what kind of a fairy tale is this? <laughs> Your esteemed brother Azur urges that we use our entire army. That man must be removed from our path. Employing an army to destroy one man? I've never heard of anything so foolish. At all costs, we must continue the raids beyond our frontiers. The demand for slave labor becomes greater every day. And don't forget, your own head will be forfeit for any cowardice shown by your troops. You mean you want me to cross that river once more? I order you to. rather than to be a slave in Babylon. If you love me, kill me. Master, that you're lucky to be alive. <laughs> Go, follow him and make sure that he crosses to the other side of the river.
We have no way of showing you the gratitude that fills our hearts, except for the tears of joy in the eyes of those you've liberated. We will never forget. What is your name? Does it matter what it is? We want to pray to the gods for you. I come from the Hellenes on the far shores of the Mediterranean. I've been away from home for three long years. Upon my return, I found that the Babylonians had attacked and defeated our fleet and had stolen all our women. Among them was one who was especially dear to me. I know that they've all been made slaves. The empire of Babylon is so vast, it won't be easy to find her again. All the slaves are concentrated in the dungeons of the two cities, Babylon and Nineveh. Each morning, they're led off to work. I can't ignore such cruel. You must, Asperia. You know that we're ready to die before we let them touch you. Omir! You failed in your mission once again. Death for a coward. I would like to be informed by my honored brother, Salman Assar, who defeated him. He's hoping to justify his failure to capture any slaves by concocting a story that's incredible. What? That old myth about the giant who's able to hold off an entire army single-handed? I've heard that before. Of course it's a lie. He's only hoping to soften your heart. The death of such a good and faithful officer would be a great loss to us and to Tanil. This is purely a military question. I say, our sister has nothing to do with it. You think not? concerned with anything that even remotely involves the Empire. Our father, Nabur II, before he died, divided the Empire of Babylon into three parts. One for each of his children, and don't forget that. On his deathbed, he exacted a promise that we would rule together in true accord. I invite my brother to respect the wishes of our beloved father. Noble sister Tanil, no one has any intention of violating the great Nabur's wishes, least of all me. It is our brother, Salman Azar, who's taken the initiative in condemning this man. Get to your feet. I want him untied.
You know very well that Bromir is under my protection. Your protection is not going to absolve him from being charged with cowardice. This is the first time I've ever heard the word coward applied to the valiant warrior Bomia. I'm afraid that you haven't bothered to get enough information about Bomir. I know all about this man. I know him better. Our noble sister is able to accept this story told us by the prisoner. I've heard tales of this legendary hero who's usually involved in superhuman undertakings far away. But I can't really believe that he's come to Babylon, unfortunately. Try to get to Hercules. If the gods are willing. And as soon as you found him, let the bird go. We've managed to keep him hidden all this time. He'll return to us, and we'll know you found Hercules. Go. Malik, king of Assyria, comes to pay homage to the three sovereigns of Babylon. You grant me such honor as I have never hoped to receive. O oh, kings of Babylon. Welcome, great Valik. We are pleased that you have come. May your stay with us be happy and serene. Never have I seen the splendor of the full moon in daylight. Salman Asar. May the point of this sword never be turned against your real friends, your Assyrian friends.
Azur. May your political influence and your wisdom never be used against your Assyrian friends. Accept this jewel, Divine Tiny. To you I say the contrary of that which I've said to your brothers. May you turn the brilliant light of your beauty on your Assyrian friends. But all this is nothing in comparison with what I've come here to offer. I have brought you. I only ask in exchange all the slaves who are living in the city of Babylon. They found out that one slave was missing. they want those slaves to repopulate Assyria. No one would want a slave to be anything but a slave. A pity to have to turn down all that gold. The request of Balik is covering up some plan we don't know about but which we must prevent. If ever there was an occasion calling for unity, this is it. Do we really have to say no? It's not difficult to say no. Nor is it difficult to say yes. But I can't help wondering what can be the motive that underlies this strange request. There is only one way to find out.
I really can't get over how little you're like your brothers. If one day you should happen to find yourself opposing them, you'll find me at your side. With my army. To me, it doesn't seem reasonable that brothers should share the rule with their sister. Doesn't it? It would be more normal for a husband and wife to reign. With two, you can rule over an empire. Why not? <laughs> oh, I must be dreaming. <laughs> Do you think that the Babylonians and the Assyrians could get along together? Why shouldn't they? I could tell from the beginning that you think the same way I do. <laughs> I never felt this way before. It's like walking on clouds. Oh, I'm so tired. I can't keep my eyes open. Slaves of Babylon. sacrifice my cavalry to their superior horsemen. I know that I'll find her among the slaves of Babylon. All that I have to do is identify her. Who are you looking for among the slaves of Babylon? The Queen of Heli. More slaves arriving. Is there no end to this? Run the chain through the manacles on all their wrists. Oh, excuse me.
Hercules. Asperia. None of the slaves. They don't know anything. I got away with her help. She sent me to you. Where is she? Where do I find Asperia? Save her. Listen, I must know. Where is she? In Nineveh or in Babylon? Come soon. must follow him without being seen and then attack him before he crosses the frontier. Our great friend Valik, king of the Assyrians, knows a secret. And secrets are only valuable when known just to a few. Therefore, therefore the death warrant of King Valik is already signed. Once we have removed Valik, we will find an heir who will achieve what he hoped to do. It's not necessary to look very far to find that heir. I have the honor to bow before him. I'm glad it turned out like this. You needn't have worried. Valik doesn't amuse me. But he was here alone with you. I don't permit anyone to judge my conduct. Let this be a warning, unless you want to lose me forever. In the dungeons where we keep all our Babylonian slaves, there's a girl. And if my brothers found her, she might become my rival. If you were as devoted to me as you say, you would have already found her. But how will I know her? Leave that to me. If I find her, you know the reward that I'll claim. This means that the Queen of Hellions is hidden somewhere near here. And while this may not seem of earth-shaking importance to you, it seems to me worthwhile to eliminate this potential danger, always assuming that my noble family agrees. You have my complete approval. 
will eliminate her and become masters of Hellenes. What is your opinion, Panil? I fear no rivals. Still, I'll be guided by the decision of my brothers. Then let us act at once to crush the life out of this serpent who has taken refuge in the subterranean world of Babylon. And to the one among you slaves who identifies the Queen of Hellenes, we will grant immediate liberty. Our magnanimous rulers give you this proof of their benevolence. But they expect from you absolute honesty. You have until tomorrow morning. And there's a bonus for all of you. You will be excused from your labors until then. So be wise. talk sooner or later. No water, no food. But be careful. Don't let any of them die. There's a limit to the power of resistance. We'll have the answer before long.
You have saved my life. I'll never forget you. <coughs> I must go and try to save my king. care about my name. It's my strength that really matters. Whoever you are, you've already given proof that you can carry out the task I proposed. And once you've succeeded, you can have anything you want from me. However, I impose one condition. You must bring me the woman, respecting her and remembering that she is going to be my wife. You will not be alone. They are, and several of my men will be with you. In the meantime, I'm sending a messenger to Assyria to call back my cavalry. And I'll be ready to launch an attack on Babylon at the right moment. Thus, you will have my help. I accept. You'll be acting in my name and for me. You must take the oath of loyalty. Swear. I swear. These are the men who will go with you. You can trust them implicitly. They are. To keep from being recognized, you had better grow a beard. <laughs> I've had a tent prepared for you. Try to get some rest. Thank you. There's only one man who would have been able to help us out in our struggle against the Babylonians the way he did. Hercules. That's true. It couldn't be anyone else. Everything corresponds to the description we've heard, even the use of the club. And if that's who he is, what do you think brought him here to Babylon? Just one thing. He's trying to liberate the queen of the Hellenes who is his queen. Therefore, Hercules is the only one who can recognize her among the slaves. But how can you trust him, my lord? That poses no problem. He'll never have the opportunity to betray me. 
I leave this to you. The day on which Hercules leaves Babylon with the Queen of the Hellenes, the sun must not set before Hercules has been murdered. The moment in which I'll also reign as King of the Hellenes is not far off. that name mentioned with your own ears? I swear it. I feel that this soldier is telling the truth. Anyway, there's considerable evidence that Hercules is in Babylon. I would never permit him even to set foot in this city. There is a curious coincidence involved here. Hercules arrives in our country at the moment, we're searching for his queen. Doesn't that seem strange? Doesn't it seem possible that he's searching for the same thing that King Belik wanted? There is only one way for us to unravel this complicated intrigue. Eliminate Hercules. This would only eliminate our best possibility of finding the Queen of the Hellenes. And what's your plan? We will invite Hercules to be our guest. It's the only way to control him. I'll never agree to that. I do. I agree with my brother Azul. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
What merchandise do you bring with you, stranger? I'm interested in goods from faraway countries. I must speak to you. Perhaps I can be very useful. Look at these slaves, the best in the Orient. Look at them. You'll find better anywhere. My name is Chrysippus. I've been expecting you for a long time. We are compatriots. I recognized you immediately. For days, this city has been full of rumors that you were about to arrive. I couldn't be wrong. What is this? What are you doing? Let go of him. Expected they'd throw us in prison with the rest of the slaves instead of giving us a royal welcome. We'll find out what they want. Must we accept their hospitality? Yes. But they'll be watching us. We'll be watching them. Come on, we must stay as close as possible. Hey, wait for me. I'm coming through. Welcome to Babylon, Hercules. You and your six friends. Six? <laughs> My six friends and I thank you. Hercules is here. Everyone says we're home. He's really. talking about it. <laughs> Listen to me, everybody. This is an unusual occasion. I cannot deprive my sister, Tanil, nor my brother, Azur, nor any of you, of the privilege of witnessing the superhuman feats of strength for which our honored guest, Hercules, is famous throughout the world. champions from distant lands have expressed their desire to match their strength against Hercules. And naturally, Hercules will accept this challenge, I trust. Of course, I accept the challenge.
But our legendary guest is known to be so powerful that I would imagine he'd prefer to fight them, not one at a time, but three at a time. The weapons are harmless because this is not a mortal combat. I knew from the beginning what they were up to. One of the three hates you more than the others. We'd better hurry. Chrysippus. You said you could show us the way to the subterranean caverns. Of course I can. Right now? Let's go. You stay here. It'll be safer. Come on. No, you can't go that way. I know a better route. Here it is. I know all the secrets of the palace. For many years, I was a prisoner. Certain slaves that are your friends cured me when I was more dead than alive. And I swore that the moment that I got out, I would help you just as they helped me.
Here we are. It's this one. And only you are able to move it by yourself. Thank you, Chrysippus. Do you know him? Chrysippus swore that he would never leave Babylon until you had liberated us. <clears throat> I just can't take you out of here with me. The soldiers will be waiting for us. But I'll find a way to free you. And the others. I hear footsteps. Let's go. All of these chains are attached to one of the houses in the city. And each of the chains is solidly fastened to the main walls of the biggest buildings in Babylon. As you know, Babylon is constructed on the sands of the desert. Come around here, Bumi. And look at this. With the chains hooked to it, it requires a hundred slaves to make the winch start running. The chains will tighten, slowly and surely. The whole city will crumble. Babylon is in my hands. But who built all this? Daedalus, who built the labyrinth of Crete. I learned about it from one of his descendants. I'm going to leave Babylon, taking its treasure and its army, and you will lead it. We'll leave all the slaves down here in order to operate the winch. As soon as we're outside, we'll give the signal. And the city will fall down, and it will become a tomb for my brothers. I will rule from Nineveh, the new capital. 
I won't have to share the throne with anyone. I'll reign alone over the whole empire. While you were in the underground caverns, a soldier arrived with a message that Queen Tanil is expecting you. I wouldn't trust her. I won't. If anything should happen to you, we'll take care of Asperia. Don't worry about me. I'm willing to help you get away with the slave that you want. But you must help me. In what way? I want you to lead a hundred slaves down into the underground caverns. I need them to operate the winch. Why? The winch is required in order to open a heavy bronze door. In the room behind that door is all the treasure of Babylon. But I intend to take possession of it. Someone out there was spying on us, I'm afraid. Do you accept? All right, I accept. Perhaps it's better that I go now. taken away. will have a better king than Valik. Me. You will never be king of the Hellenes. Why not? Am I any worse than Valik, the king of the Assyrians, who wanted to marry you? Apart from the fact that Valik is no longer of this world. Hesperia, your beauty, is only equaled by my wisdom. We should do well together. I'll take you back to Hellions as my wife. We'll unite Hellions and Babylon. We'll be the greatest empire in the world. You're right. There'll never be an empire so great. But first we must decide who will be the real emperor. We've always cooperated. We'll proceed to Hellenes, and then we'll make the decision. I know everything. Valik is alive! Oh. You have betrayed me! No, no. Uh, everyone has betrayed me! Oh. It's not wisdom you need, but the sword.
This way. Take care of Asperia, will you? I'll join you as soon as possible. I want to go with you. No. I must stop the Babylonians from following us. This evil must be cut off at the roots. Time to leave. Are they loading the treasure? Let's go.
Try to find a horse, then go warn Valik. He's on the other side of that hill. No, you're not going to do that. He wants to turn you over to Valik. He wants to betray us, Hesperia. You're a traitor. I always suspected you. Huh? <laughs> see you again. My lord, the queen is in the hands of Behar. Just as I planned it. Men, we're ready to surround the city. Someone to warn Valique. Soon he'll arrive with his cavalry. Chrysippus, I killed him. I ask your pardon. I had orders to kill you before you could liberate Asperia. Asperia? Where is she? Taniel. Taniel has taken her down there to Valique. I don't need to be told who she is. That's her. She's the queen. liberated you because I ordered it. No, that's not true. I pretended to accept your offer so I could discover your plan. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. 
I saved your life. And yet you ordered Behar to eliminate me after I saved Asperia. a long and happy life for you. 